I just got my printer bot play, so let's take a look at what's inside the box. We got our typical bill of materials. Let's hold that aside. And inside of here, a lot of stuff is very carefully wrapped. This probably is the majority of the frame. That's what it is. Pieces of the frame are all wrapped to protect that nice powder coating layer. Ah, oh, there we go. That looks really good. Looks really, really good. Here I can see I've got a piece of uh, machined aluminum that uh, looks like the arm, the printer there. Typical metal rods. That's probably the big base part or side part of the frame. So let's go ahead and peel that open here. Another great looking piece of the frame. Looks like it's the base. Stepper motors, zip ties, nice little sample of filaments. Let's take a look here. Wow, that print bed looks thicker than uh, than on the maker's kit. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's the corners aren't as round, but it looks really nice and nice and sturdy. Power cord. Another piece of the frame. Probably the other half of the power cord there. Let's get this big piece out of here. All right, so there's the bearings and the hardware, and so those are the brackets for holding the bearings in place. Now there's one of the sides. All right, screws, printer board. Oh, this is really a nice, uh, nice choice on packing. Is that inside the two symmetrical sides, all the fragile components were tucked in neatly. And a really nice thing to see here is that the wrap for the uh, the wires is a looks like looks like a really nice little sleeve to feed your wires through. And then you've got belts and tools in here, wires and auto leveling probe. Let's go ahead and grab that last piece of the frame out of here. There we go. Yeah. So these two symmetrical sides were packed in a way that all of the sort of fragile components were held between them. Great way to ship it. This actually has a lot of weight to it. It's a really a nice frame, really sturdy. So let's just go back through one more time on what was inside the box. We had the sides of the frame. See here at the top of where you're gonna have your fans mounted to cool the hot end. This part here, I didn't, didn't peel this open. It's got quite a lot of tape on it. But let's take a quick look. So that part there, it's the arm that's gonna carry the uh, extruder back and forth. Or perhaps, okay, I can see here, this is what's gonna ride up and down inside of the side of the printer there. Again, you know, belts, wire wrap, hardware, hardware, just, uh, you know, brackets for the bearings. Inside of here, we can see, you know, the bearings and other, there's your, uh, the, this is actually the new, the new aluminum extruder, and uh, it looks a little bit smaller than the previous one, and really excited to see how that works. Of course, the printer board nice and carefully wrapped. I'm gonna set that one aside rather than put it back in here. Power cord, and imagine here, there's the block for the power cord. Metal rods, threaded rods. And again, this this feels really nice. Feels really good. I feel like uh, it's it's got to be either that they they change the shape of this over the previous model. I think the corners were maybe a little rounder on the maker's kit, but it looks great. I also like how the sample filament's a little a little tighter wound. I always sort of set these aside and this is this is nice to have a small little footprint for it. It's always nice to have a little bit of spare filament. Sometimes you never know when you're gonna do something like uh, you know, take something on the road and just want something something small to pack. Zip ties as always. Stepper motors and again, I'm just packing all this in just to recap what was inside. This frame looks really good. This is this is a great uh, looking looking build. Looks like it's gonna be really, real simple to assemble. There's the base. You can see that part there, and of course 
wires, auto leveling probe, hot end, the two fans, switches, things like that. So looking really good in here. I'm going to go ahead and check through everything. I advise that if this is uh, your first time building a 3D printer, definitely want to take a look at what's in your bill of materials and get organized. Uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of parts that probably you're going to see for the first time. So do your homework, check over the bill of materials, make sure you've got what you should and know what's what. All right. Well, hey, follow up with me in the next video. Thank you for watching.